Saturday morning and right now WJBF Live Viper 6 radar is in a clean sweep all over the CSRA. Off to a pretty refreshing start as we hit 8 o'clock. Temperature of 61 with mostly sunny skies. We're tracking your Memorial Day weekend and a look at what could be our second tropical storm of the season. Full forecast coming up. Now on Good Morning Augusta, new information regarding a shooting in Columbia County. What investigators know so far about how it all happened. Gas prices are low, uh, the traffic is not bad at all, and I've enjoyed coming down here to see my son. And buckle up before you go, how to stay safe while on the road this Memorial Day weekend. And Justice Department problems, how South Carolina is working to fix issues in the juvenile justice system. Good Morning Augusta starts right now. Live from television. This is WJBF News Channel 6. Good Morning Augusta. Good morning on this beautiful Saturday. Thank you so much for joining us for Good Morning Augusta, your only choice for a weekend local morning news right here in the CSRA. I'm Ashley Campbell. And I'm meteorologist Ed Bloodsworth in today for Kevin Nywood. It's good to be with you this morning. I know, Ashley. it's our first time hanging out. Absolutely, right? yeah. We, I mean, you know, we very rarely get to see each other through the week, mm -hmm. so it's good to be here on the weekend. I know. And a holiday weekend, no doubt. For sure, and it's going to be pretty good weather for it, I believe, right? I mean, it's a beautiful start. You step outside this morning, so mm -hmm. comfortable. In fact, how about that for a view? Beautiful. I mean, you can't beat that over the Savannah River. That's our Jippy Lube Skyview Network looking from uh, the Augusta Marriott at the Convention Center. So temperatures out the door. 57 this morning in Aiken, 64 in North Augusta, and 62 in Hepzibah, GA. You're at 58 in Thompson this morning. So again, a fairly mild start. You'll notice the warmer temperatures back towards Bamberg and Allendale. Still under the influence of high pressure, giving us a very quiet start, but we're going to zoom the picture out because that's what we're tracking. That is tropical depression number two. It could become a tropical storm before it makes landfall on the South Carolina coast this weekend. So all eyes on that. First check of your hour by hour forecast through the first half of the day. Lots of sunshine. Get out and enjoy it for your morning jogs at 72 degrees at 10 o'clock. Getting to 79. Slight chance of a shower as we go into the afternoon here, Ashley. And part of that will be due to what could be Tropical Storm Bonnie. So we're keeping a close eye on that. We're expecting a new update from the Hurricane Center before the top of the hour. And once we have that, we're going to give it to you live right here on GMA. All right, Ed, I know you're going to stay on top of it for us. That's right. All right, thanks. Well, new this morning, Columbia County down Deputies are searching for potentially armed burglary suspects. It happened last night along Old Petersburg Road near Baston Road when deputies were responding to a possible burglary. Investigators say that deputies arrived on the scene and spotted a man running from the on Old Old Petersburg Road towards Stevens Road. The deputy chased the man and a second deputy saw the victim and two other suspects running. As he got out of, out of his patrol car, shots were fired by the suspects. No word if those shots were intended for the deputy. Luckily, no one was injured, and if you have any information, you're asked to contact the Columbia County Sheriff's Office. And many drivers are hitting the road today to head to the lake or out of town. Experts say that this could be the busiest Memorial Day travel ever. News Channel 6 says Renetta DeBose takes a look at how drivers are dealing with that traffic. We're riding a motorcycle here. Uh, we're going to Myrtle Beach. We're going to hang out with other motorcyclists. David Giddens and his wife hit the road to celebrate. 35 years here with her. Well. Uh, our anniversary is this weekend. Friends, Rev B and Teresa Master are right behind them. Just enjoying the beautiful day that God has given us. Today is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. People hit the interstate early with both Georgia and the Palmetto states welcoming drivers near and far. Some were from really far. From Guam. Edward Poppy and his family are off to Atlanta. I'm in the Army and for this Memorial Day weekend ruck, I mean, it's uh, we're bringing, printing out a photo of one of our friends that passed away a couple years ago. And so my wife's going to ruck and hold us a photo for that one. And for some, safety is a big concern while driving. The biggest danger of a motorcycle is things around you, whether that's other traffic or animals. But a motorcycle is inherently safe from a physics perspective. The faster you go, the safer it is. Can you explain your epic helmet? My epic helmet? <laughs> um, well, it, it uh, you know, it's a, uh, it allows us to open it up so that we can uh, get some fresh air and be safe uh, uh, and pulling it down and guard our chins and be, you know, that whole safety thing. So uh, 
Um, that's it. We also have communications uh, devices attached so we can communicate while yes. we're riding. And uh, we also have this neat feature. Bam! And the best part of this man's 500 mile trip to Grovetown is Bella and Max. Gas prices are low, uh, the traffic is not bad at all, and I've enjoyed coming down here to see my son. Law enforcement does want to remind drivers to remain safe and sober. Also, buckle your seat belts. Local law enforcement says it will be out in full force looking for traffic violators. Triple A says that the increase in travel can directly be linked to gas prices. Right now, a gallon of regular will cost about $2.14 in Augusta. The lowest gas prices we found on GasBuddy.com is $1.88 at both Costco and Sam's Club. That's around 30 cents higher than a few months ago, but much lower than this time last year. Both Georgia and South Carolina are stepping up its presence this weekend. Locally, state troopers say drivers not wearing seatbelts is still a big problem. In Georgia, for the first time in several years, there's an increase in the number of traffic deaths. In South Carolina, you can call Star HP. In Georgia, you can dial Star GSP if you see anything suspicious happening this weekend. The Georgia Department of Transportation suspending all construction on major interstates and highways for the Memorial Day weekend to help you get where you're going. But that won't help if you're traveling on the Richmond Hill Road Bridge over Bobby Jones in South Augusta. DOT crews will be there through Sunday doing maintenance work to weatherproof the bridge. It's the first of eight bridges that they'll be working on in Richmond and Warren counties. And if you're on the water this weekend, the Department of Natural Resources is reminding you to wear a life jacket. The Wear It campaign is focusing on family-oriented boating fun while staying safe on the water. It focuses mainly on different life jacket options that are available. And for more information on this initiative, you can click on your state DNR's website. Switching gears now to problems at the South Carolina Department of Juvenile Justice. State lawmakers got a new report on the system this week. State inspectors have been investigating DJJ since March. There were three riots there from September to February of this year. Reports show that several issues may have led to the problems. For example, the lack of consequences for kids who caused trouble, gang activity, and guards working 12-hour shifts without proper training. They're not even provided defensive tactics or mechanisms to gain control of a juvenile. So I think those physical skills or at least physical confidence has to be added back. State inspectors say that DJJ is taking steps to address the problems there. Lawmakers have put money in next year's budget to give every DJJ officer a raise of $1,500. And speaking of money, South Carolina State University is still trying to pay its debt. The HBCU would be free from its $12 million in loans if it pays $6 million over the next eight, 16 years. Lawmakers came to the negotiation under a budget clause approved yesterday. It's in an effort to help keep the school its accreditation. The Southern Association of Colleges and Schools will decide the institution's fate next month. And looking ahead to what's happening this weekend, seniors at Willison Elko High School will turn their tassels today. Students will cross the stage at 10 o'clock this morning at the District Auditorium building. Seniors line up starting at 9. Augusta's third annual Music Fest kicking off today. That starts at 3.30 at the Augusta Common. Gary Palmer, Tim Watson, and Taylor Hewitt are just a few of the many big acts for the event. They're also going to have some face painting and bounce houses for the kids. Admission is free. If you'd like a VIP pass, it's going to cost you about $40. And still ahead on Good Morning Augusta, a new superbug infection has been reported in the U.S. Find out how doctors are having a hard time treating the illness up next. But first, we're going ahead and check in with your forecast with Ed. Yeah, Ashley, those weather headlines for today all lies on tropical depression at number two today. Increasing rain chances on the way, and it looks to stay warm and very muggy as we go into next week as well. But first, a beautiful shot from our newest Jiffy Loop Skyview Network camera over Strom Thurmond Dam and the lake. We're starting off very nice on this Saturday morning. We'll talk more about your news and weather coming up next. Stay with us.